All right, we're out in the woods again today. Here's that one wall, and here's the other wall on this side. The old cart path, two rod wide. That's the the first house we were at last week, house site. No, barns over there with a the geocache box. Well, we're gonna head uh, this way here, about another 100, 150 yards to the second house. Should be on the right hand side. Just gonna keep following that handsome dude up there, Jazzy Jeff, and uh, he's gonna find all the good stuff today. Don't worry, I'll show it. I'll show you. But uh, yeah, nice place. Old road, old walls. Wish us luck. We'll get back to you in the first good hole. At least I'll show you the cellar hole when we get there. All right, we'll get back to you. Oh, my ankle. All right, still following the stone wall path on this side. And the stone wall on this side. About a mile in now. Uphill both ways. I'm tired as frig. Jeff just called out. Come on, Mike, a little farther. I think I found it. I said, good, but the best part is it's all downhill from here on the way out. So let's take a look, see what he's looking at. And uh, he's right up there. Nice walls, though. That'd be 300 years old. We just met a nice lady in a I don't know if it's her father or husband, but uh, look at her father. Out here mountain biking in the woods. Climbing these rocky trails like they're nothing. Guy must have been in his late 70s or something. Give him credit. No, I was talking about the other old gentleman driving the mountain bike. How impressed I was. Where you at? Right there. What's that pile? The, store, the fireplace maybe? Uh-oh. He sees it right here, folks. Let's keep it going here. Oh yeah, I see it now. Right up here. And on the other side of this tree. See if I can get around this cobweb infested thing. Here it is. Oh, oh my back. I'm gonna bend over. There it is, folks. And that big pile of rocks is a fireplace, I'm assuming, right next to the wall here. This is a cellar hole. It's about six feet deep. A lot of rocks caved in on it, though. See when the front door was over there. Oh, Jeff is there. We're here. We're going to turn on, get on, and see what we can find. We'll get back to you. He's in a hurry. <laughs> what time is it? Late. We gotta go. Need a time mark. 11.23. Holy shit, it's late. 11.23. I got to leave in 10 minutes. All right, I'll get back to you. You can see the one rock wall here and the other one over there. That's the, uh, the old cart path. Uh, the house is right on the other side of the stone wall here. Like I said, the fireplace all caved in right there. This is down in the hole, about six, eight feet. A lot of stone caved in. Just gonna do the lip first. And then head out, it's all nice and flat and open. Would have been a nice, nice yard back in the day. All right. And Jeff is over there. Digging a 12. I hope it's a shield and nickel for him. This is where the uh, well, that's a stone wall for the road there. This is the pile of rock for the uh, fireplace. On the other side is the whole cellar hole itself. Quiet ground. A little bit of iron on the other side. Not too much over here. Still haven't got a signal. I'm going to keep going. Got to be a well around here somewhere. Uh oh, Jeff's coming this way. He's got something. Uh oh, he's got something. Hold on. Oh man, it's beautiful, dude. Is that a drawer pull or something? Exactly, a little vanity uh, desk drawer pull where they put the makeup on and stuff. Oh man, that's not even mine, but I'm gonna kiss it dirty. Mwah! Thank you, thank you for Jeff's relic. Oh, can I have one of my own? Thanks. Swing your machine. Stop talking. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, you left me hanging. I was gonna get my fist pump. He's just walking away. Oh, thank you, air pump. Wonder Twin Powers, activate. All right, let's get busy. About an hour or so, Jeff's over there. He found a nice little draw pull. I got one signal over there, like a 15, 16. It was a shotgun willy. That was it. Back at the cellar here, hole here, though. I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to dig a couple of holes. Playing a 1965 quarter. 
and some counter stamped one cents, counter stamped halves. A few other goodies around the cellar hole here, just so whoever comes next can find at least something good besides a shotgun willy. You know what I'm saying? All right, we'll get back to you. We're going to stop at the first site again because it rained over the week. We got some good rain, so see if we got some signals over there. I'll get back to you. Let me dig some holes. I found a cellar hole here. First up, we got a 2020 uh, or 2021 one cent with a musical note on it. We'll put that right there. I'll come back and check the signals in a minute. Then we got a 65 Washington. <laughs> you got 65. Put that right there. Cover it up. Over here, we got a skull and crossbones, uh, 72 half dollar, I think. We'll stick that right in there. Dun, dun, dun. All right, 76 cents in the ground. Now maybe I'll find something good at the other site. Let me get to the machine, we'll check the signal real quick. Okay, first off the bat. Solid 20, 21. That's your counter stamped one cent. Hey, up next is a. Uh, here it is. Nice 28, 29, 30. That's a 65 uh, quarter. <laughs> you got 65. Poor bastard. And last but not least, a half dollar. Ooh, slamming 33, 32. They're actually going to put a big smile on their face until they dig it. <laughs> I'm awful. I like having fun, though. It's right in a row. Bam. Penny, quarter, half. Somebody's got to find it. Come back in a couple of years and find out. We'll see you. I'm going to head down to the other one after Jeff digs, digs that 19 over there. And see if we can find something good down at the other hole again. Plus, I got some more coins to bury down there. All right. We'll get back to you. Got about a... 20 minute hike. We got mosey down back down. That little barn cellar holes on top of the knoll there. Steps through the wall up to the uh, houses right there. This is where he found the two buttons last week. We're gonna get busy and hopefully those coins I planted in the ground will bring me some luck. If not, I'm gonna plant a few more coins over here. I'll get back to you. All right, just come up the front steps here. Here's the roadway. Here's that big tree from uh, last week. I just got a slam in uh, 18 here. It's like square stock made into like a circle and then like another thing on top. I'm sure this hung on something and did something for something. No, it's not a nose ring. Looks cool though, don't it? On to the next. That's the well from where the house we're at last week. Saw the holes here with the center stack chimney. Barns across the street. Ah, oh, prickle bush. But I missed a signal here last week. A couple inches down. I'm not hearing any irons. I'm gonna dig it. I'll get right back to you. Don't be single. Just some more uh, sheet metal. On to the next. All right, so the holes right here. A lip. And the front steps coming up between the sidewalks there. I mean, before the stone wall. Steps coming up, and then I got a nice old 1965 quarter buried there. And there's a counter stamped one cent right there. A uh, beautiful counter stamped 50 cent piece right there. All right, let me swing over these. Let's see what I get. Take my glove off here. Yeah. I'm guessing the same numbers. So this should be like a 33. Let's see. Bad signal. Oh, I'm not over it. Down here. That's the half. Twenty twenty one's a one cent. 
28.29 on the 65 quarter. Yeah. More coins in the ground for someone else to find. On to the next. All right, we're back at the beautiful barn cellar hole. Very nice, big tree growing up in the middle of it. Six to eight feet deep. And I'm at the opening here at the back side. It goes out into the pasture. This is where the geo box was last week. But there was uh, no pencil in it or nothing, so. Brought a couple pencils to put back in it. Some counter stamped coins for someone to find in it. Throw them in now. Half dollar. Take the book out. I'll read it a little bit and I'll sign it. Pop one of my business cards in there, maybe my YouTube channel. Maybe someone will hook me up one day. All right, let's take a look at the book. I signed the book, put my business card in there, YouTube channel, all the great stuff. Couple counter stamp coins, a couple of small Connecticut lottery pencils. So people will have them to fill it out in the future. All right, I'm starting to sweat in here. All this hiking. Uh oh, somebody found something in the river. On my way! Coming! Must have found something in the brook. I'm all done. I just closed it up. I'm on my way. <laughs> 